family, it's Shaniqua, your trusted home cook. Okay, let me jump right into this video. One of the number one questions that I receive in email or in my DMs is, Shaniqua, what type of spices are you using in your kitchen? So I thought I would take the time to create a video all about the spices that I'm using in this here kitchen. That's right, today is all about my spice blends. So let's begin with a few staple spices that I keep on hand. Garlic powder, parsley, onion powder, cumin, basil, coriander, chili powder, paprika, oregano, red chili flakes, and turmeric. And then I like to keep one empty jar on hand so that I can create my own signature spice blend. I also am never without some sea salt, cinnamon, black peppercorns, and this is not a spice, but it is definitely a key ingredient to most of my dishes, some flaxseed. And now, here's a secret, just between you and I. When no one's looking, and they're sitting around the table, and they're trying to figure out what is that distinctive taste, you know what I've added in? Coffee grounds. That's right, I love to add in coffee grounds. I'll show you because I just so happen to be making a pork butt today. And I'll show you how I make my signature spice. Okay, so I'm starting with a few coffee grounds. I'll add in a little bit of chili powder, some onion powder, oregano, some cumin and while I love to use fresh garlic having garlic powder on hand comes in really handy so I'm going to add in some garlic powder my salt Let's just give that a couple of dashes there some black cracked pepper and then this is going to be a little bit of a surprise, but I'm going to add in just a tiny little pinch of cinnamon. It is amazing with pork. I'll give this all a stir. And then I'll add it to my pork. Okay, so I've preheated my oven and I'll give my pork a drizzle of olive oil. Then I'll take that mix and add it to my pork. Something that I love to do with a blend like this is that I like to keep a little bit of it reserved for a side dish. So for instance, with this pork, I'm gonna make some black beans. So I'll reserve some of the spice blend to add into my black beans to kind of carry that flavor throughout my dishes. Adding just a little bit more, keep the reserve, and give this pork a nice rub down. For even more flavor, I like to take a couple of cloves of fresh garlic, although I use the granulated garlic in my blend, but I like to put in a couple of cloves of fresh garlic along with some onions and peppers into this particular dish. So just keep that in mind. It just gives it an added boost of nutrients and flavor. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And I hope that you will get into your kitchen and remember my number two rules. One, let's cook real meals. Two, these spices are helpful, but ultimately we want to make sure that we're flavoring our food with love. All right, many blessings to you.